Today we're going to be working on wiring a thin line style guitar kit, a Telecaster style. This has the same wiring configuration as a standard Telecaster, but it's wired to the pick guard instead of to a pre-wired control plate. And of course a thin line has humbucker style pickups. So I've got the components laid out here. I don't actually have one of the pick guards in stock right now, so I'm using this handy cardboard instead. We've got our three-way switch, a volume and tone pot, the output jack, and our tone capacitor, and of course, the pickups. So first, I'll note a couple things. Number one, um, when you're wiring this on an actual guitar kit, the pickup wires go through a cavity in the guitar body, so you don't want to wire it all to the pick guard at once and um, you'll, you'll be stuck. You'll have to do some unwiring to get that threaded through the right way on the, on the pick guard. Uh, now the second thing I'll point out is that the pickups always come with these pickup rings mounted on them. Uh, for this guitar kit, you don't need these rings. So you can take the rings off, uh, toss them, throw them in your bin of extra parts. You will use these screws and the springs, however, to mount them directly to the pick guard. So the pick guard will take the place of these pickup rings. The third thing I'll point out is that the pots come in two varieties, and we can see right here A500K or B500K. A is an audio pot, it's a logarithmic taper, which is normally best suited for volume. B is linear, uh, and that's best suited for tone normally. Of course, every player has their preference, but that's generally the case. So we'll use the A for the volume and B for the tone. We're going to start by wiring the pickups to the switch. Each pickup has two wires, an outer bare wire, that is the ground, and an inner shielded wire is the hot. Uh, on this, we'll put the bare wire to a grounding point on the side of the switch, either here or on the other side, and we'll put the hot wire, the insulated inner wire, onto two terminals. So if we count on a Telecaster switch from left to right, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, sometimes there's two terminals in the middle, which would be an eight terminal switch. The way it works, if we skip the first one, we'll put the hot on the next two. For the other pickup, we'll go count from the other side. We'll skip the first one, put the hot on the next two. The middle pin, or middle two pins, if you have an eight terminal switch, is your output. Um, on this, we just have the one, one pin, so this will be the output that goes to the volume pot in just a second. But first, we're going to wire up both pickups to the switch. Since this wire gets connected to two terminals, what I like to do is strip a little bit of extra wire back, thread it through one side, and then go over to the second terminal pad there. And we'll just solder those both into position. Now we have that switch wired. As a reminder, you don't want to do this outside of the, of the guitar body because these wires need to feed through an access hole between the pickup cavities and the control cavity. But for this video, we've got it outside the guitar. Uh, I've got both of the bare ground wires grounded to the side of the switch, and then the hot wires each grounded to two terminals on either side. Now we're gonna wire the output of the switch to the input of the volume pod. We're gonna take the hot wire from the center pin on the switch, and it's gonna connect to the, um, if we're looking at the bottom of the pot, the left pin of the volume pod. And we're also gonna ground from the side of the switch to the back of the volume pot. While we're at it, we also are gonna ground the third leg of the volume pot to itself. So we'll go to that point. Now I have the output wire from the switch to the input of the pot, which is this first terminal. I also have a ground wire from the back of the volume pot to the side of the switch here. And then we've grounded the third leg of the volume pot to itself. Next, what we're going to do is run the wire that goes from the volume pot to the tone, as well as wire the tone capacitor and ground that pot. Now we have the tone pot wired up. So what I did is we ran a wire from this first leg of the volume to the center leg on the tone pot. We also ran a ground wire from the back of each of the pots. And then the tone capacitor gets wired in one side to the back of the pot and one side to the third leg of this tone pot. Our last step will be connecting the output jack. This is going to come from the center leg of the pot to the hot lead on the jack, as well as another ground wire from the back of the pot to the ground terminal. On these jacks, the easiest way uh, to figure out which terminal is which, the tip of your cord makes contact with this right here. 
that is going to be your hot. If you follow that around, you'll see that this terminal that's directly across from this is the hot. This other one connects to the barrel of the output cable. That's your ground. I'm going to wire those up. We now have the jack lined up. On this one, I use purple for the hot lead. Connects over to the center terminal on the volume pot and I use this gray wire from the back of the volume to the ground terminal of the switch that completes that ground. The last step I almost forgot when I was making the video is a ground wire for the bridge. So I've wired another wire to the back of the volume pot and this is gonna go through the control cavity and come out under the bridge. Then what we do is strip some of the insulation back and just sandwich that wire between the body of the guitar and the bridge. That will complete the ground circuit as soon as you are playing the guitar and touch the strings. Hope this is helpful. This is how you wire a thin line style guitar kit.